Hello, and welcome to the 51st episode of Scripture in a Year, hosted by Saints Peter and Paul Orthodox Church in the Albanian Archdiocese of the OCA. Today's reading is Joshua chapters 13 through 16. Now Joshua was old and advanced in days, and the Lord said to Joshua, You are advanced in days, and much land remains to inherit. The remaining land is the territories of the Philistines, the Geshurites, and the Canaanites, from Sihor, east of Egypt, as far as the borders of Ekron, northward, which is counted as Canaanite. The five lords of the Philistines, the Gazites, the Ashdodites, the Ashkelonites, the Gittites, the Ekronites, and also the Avites from the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Miara that belongs to the Sidonians as far as Aphek, to the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gebelites, and all Lebanon toward the sunrise, from Balgad below Mount Hermon as far as the entrance to Hamath, from Lebanon as far as the brook Misrephoth, and all the Sidonians. Them I will drive out from before the children of Israel, only divide it by lot to Israel as an inheritance, as I have commanded you. Now, therefore, divide this land by lot to the nine tribes and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, from the Jordan as far as the great sea westward. You will give this to them, with the great sea as the boundary. But to the two tribes, the Reubenites and the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, Moses gave an inheritance beyond the Jordan. Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave it to them eastward from Aor, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city in the midst of the valley, and the town in the midst of the ravine, and all the plain of Medeba, as far as Dibon, all the cities of Sihon, the king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, as far as the border of the children of Ammon, Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites, or the Makathites, all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan as far as Salka, all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth and Edri, who remained of the remnant of the giants, for Moses had defeated and cast out these. Nevertheless, the children of Israel did not drive out the Geshurites or the Makathites, but the Geshurites and the Makathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only the tribe of Levi he had given no inheritance, because their inheritance is the Lord God of Israel, as the Lord said to them. So this was the division Moses distributed to the sons of Israel in the plains of Moab on the other side of the Jordan toward Jericho. Now Moses had given an inheritance to the tribe of Reuben according to their families. Their territories were from Aor, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city and the ravine, and all the plain of Medeba. Heshbon and the cities in the plain, Dibon, Bamath, Baal, and beth Balmeon, Jahaza and Kedemath, Mephpah, Karjathaim, Sibma, Zareth Shahar, on the mountain of the valley, and beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, and beth Jeshimoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses had struck with the princes of Midian, Evi, Rechem, Zer, Hur, and Reba, who were princes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. The children of Israel also killed with the sword Balaam, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, among those who were killed by them. The border of the children of Reuben was the bank of the Jordan, this was the inheritance of the children of Reuben, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. Moses had also given an inheritance to the tribe of Gad, to the children of Gad, according to their families. Their boundary lines were Jazer, all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the Ammonites as far as Aroer, which is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon to Ramath Mispah, and Batonim, and on from Mahanaim to the border of Debir, and the valley of Beth Haram, Beth Nimra, Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, with the Jordan as its border. 
as far as the edge of the sea of Chinnereth, on the other side of the Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. Moses had also given an inheritance to the half-tribe of Manasseh, according to their families. Their boundary was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and the towns of Jer, which were in Bashan, sixty cities, half of Gilead and Ashtaroth and Adrai, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were for the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, for half the children of Machir, according to their families. These are the areas Moses had distributed as an inheritance beyond the plains of Moab, on the other side of the Jordan, by Jericho eastward. These are the lands with the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed as an inheritance to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Joshua for the nine tribes and the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half-tribe on the other side of the Jordan, where to the Levites he had given no inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and they gave no part to the Levites in the land except cities to dwell in, with common lands for their livestock and their property, as the Lord had commanded Moses. So the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning myself and you, in Kadesh Barnea. For I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of God, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought back word to him as he wished. But my brothers who went up with me turned aside the heart of the people, while I continued to follow the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day, saying, The land on which you set foot shall be an inheritance for you and your children forever, because you continued to follow the Lord our God. Now the Lord has sustained me, as he said, these forty-five years since the Lord spoke this word to Moses. And Israel wandered in the desert. And now, behold, I am eighty-five years old today. I am still as strong today as when Moses sent me, as strong now to go out and come in for war. Now, therefore, I ask you for this mountain. As the Lord said in that day, since you heard the word in that day, for now the Anakim are there with large and fortified cities. Therefore, if the Lord is with me, I will utterly destroy them, as the Lord said to me. So Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the son of Kenez, as an inheritance. Therefore, Hebron became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, to this day, because he followed the command of the Lord God of Israel. But the name of Hebron was formerly Kirjath Arba, the capital of the Anakim. Then the land rested from war. So this was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. The border of Edom at the desert of Zin, southward, was the extreme southern boundary. Their southern border began at the shore of the Salt Sea, from the bay that faces southward. Then it went out to the southern side of the ascent of Akrabim, passed along to Zin, ascended on the south side of the Kadesh Barnea, passed along to the Hezron, went up to Adar, and went around to Karka. From there it passed toward Asman, and went out to the brook of Egypt. And the border ended at the sea. This is their southern border. The east border was the Salt Sea, as far as the mouth of the Jordan, and the border on the northern quarter began at the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan. The border went up to Beth Hogla, and passed north of Beth Arabah. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. Then the border went up toward Debir, from the valley of Akor, and it turned northward toward Gilgal, which is before the ascent of Adumim, which is on the south side of the valley. The border continued toward the waters of En Shemesh, and ended at En Rogal. The border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom to the southern slope of the Jebusite city, which is Jerusalem. The border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom, westward, which is at the end of the valley 
of Rephaim northward. Then the border went around from the top of the hill to the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and extended to the cities of Mount Ephron. Then the border went around to Bala, which is Kirjath Jearim. Then the border turned from Bala to Mount Seir, passed along to the side of Mount Jearim in the north, which is Chesalon, went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. The border went out to the side of Ekron northward. Then the border went around to Shikron, passed along to Mount Bala, and extended to Jabneel, and the border ended at the sea. The west border was the coastline of the great sea. This is the boundary of the children of Judah all around according to their families. Now to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a share among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, namely Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron. Arba was the father of Anak. Caleb drove out the three sons of Anak from there, Sheshai, Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak, before he went up from there to the inhabitants of Debir, Formerly, the name of Debir was Kirjath Sefer. Then Caleb said, He who attacks Kirjath Sefer and takes it, to him I will give Aksa, my daughter, his wife. So Othniel, the son of Kenez, the younger brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Aksa, his daughter, as wife. Now it was so, when she came to him, that she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. So she dismounted from her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you wish? She answered, Give me a blessing. Since you have given me land in the south, give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper spring and the lower springs. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. The cities at the limits of the tribe of the children of Judah, toward the border of Edom in the south, were Kabzil, Eder, Jagur, Kina, Demona, Arada, Kedesh, Hazor, Ithnan, Ziph, Talem, Baaloth, Hazor, Hadata, Kiriath, Herzon, which is Hazor, Amam, Shema, Molada, Hazor Geda, Heshman, Beth Pellet, Hazar, Shual, Beersheba, Beth Joshja, Bala Ijim, Ezem, El Tolad, Chasil, Horma, Ziklag, Madmana, Sansana, Labaoth, Chilhim, Ain, and Rimon. Twenty-nine cities with their villages. In the lowland, Eshteol, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, and Ganim, Tapua, Inam, Jarmuth, Adulam, Soko, Ezeka, Sharaim, Adithaim, Gadara, and Gadara Thaim, fourteen cities with their villages Zenon, Hadasha, Migdelgad, Delain, Mizpah, Jokthael, Lakish, Boskath, Eglon, Kaban, Lamas, Kithlish, Gedaroth, Beth Dagon, Naama, and Makada, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, Ether, Ashan, Jifta, Ashna, Nezib, Keila, Oxzib, 
and Marasha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with its town and villages, and from Ekron to the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with its towns and villages, Gaza with its town and villages, as far as the brook of Egypt and the great sea with its coastline, in the mountain country, Shamir, Jatir, Soko, Dana, Kirjath Sana, which is Debir, Anab, Eshtemo, Anim, Goshen, Alon, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, Duma, Eshein, Janum, Beth Tapua, Efeka, Humta, Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, Ziph, Juta, Jezreel, Jokdim, Zenoa, Cain, Gebeah, and Timna, ten cities with their villages, Hahul, Bethzur, Gedor, Ma'arath, Beth Anath, and El Tekon, six cities with their villages, Theko and Aphratha, which is Bethlehem, and Phagor and Aetan, and Kulon, and Tatum, and Thobes, and Karam, and Galam, and Tether, and Manoko, eleven cities and their villages, Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jearim, and Rabath, two cities with their villages, and the desert, Beth Araba, Midin, Sekaka, Nibshan, the city of salt, and Engedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites who dwelled in Jerusalem, the sons of Judah were not able to destroy them, so the Jebusites dwell in Jerusalem until this day. The lot fell to the children of Joseph from the Jordan by Jericho, to the waters of Jericho on the east, to the desert that goes up from Jericho, through the mountains to Bethel. Then went out from Bethel to Luz, passed along to the border of the Archites at Ataroth, and went down westward to the boundary of the Japhletites, as far as the boundary of lower Beth Horon to Gezer, and ended at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. The border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. The border of their inheritance on the east side was Adaroth Adar, as far as upper Beth Horon. The border went out toward the sea on the north side of Mechmethoth. Then the border went around eastward to Tanath Shiloh, and passed by it on the east of Genoha. Then it went down from Genoha to Adaroth and Naara, reached to Jericho, and came out at the Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward to the brook Cana, and it ended at the sea. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, according to their families. The separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. But Ephraim did not destroy the Canaanites who dwelt in Gezer, and the Canaanites dwelt among Ephraim to this day, until Pharaoh, the king of the Egyptians, came and took it and burned it with fire. They massacred the Canaanites and the Perizzites and those who dwelt in Gezer, and Pharaoh gave it to his daughter as a dowry. Here ends the reading for the day.